Knicks and Celtics in a 12 round brawl in Boston. Number seven seed, number eight seed in the East. And this thing would go down to the wire, folks. Knicks battling all night. It was a game of runs. And it was just going to be who blinked first in the end. Knicks desperately trying to get a win in the clutch. RJ did his best to lead his team. He would finish with 29 points, 6 of 6 for downtown. But the turning point of this game was a big Tristan Thompson block on Derrick Rose, which would put Boston down by one and give him the momentum in this game, man. Tough, tough series here in the fourth quarter. Knicks just clinging, clinging on to the lead, and once again it would evaporate with Tatum and Brown running the show for Boston. But RJ would not go quietly into the night, hitting a big mid-range free throw jump shot to put his team down by two. And even after a bad turnover by RJ, he would still come back and knock down a huge three to tie this game. Knicks had it, man. Knicks were right there, but an untimely double team led to a Marcus Smart wide open three, and that's all she wrote, man. Knicks would go down in another crunch time, stinging loss, 101 to 99 to the Boston Celtics. Mr. Kardashian also had a good game. Here we are again, CK. Here we are again, man. Boston missing Kemba. Missing their mm. ace, their floor general. <clears throat> no Mitch, but Nick still had everybody that, that they've been going to war with these last few games. And um, right. just another one. Just just another fourth quarter meltdown. Can't execute. Nick's now 2-9 and nine in games decided by three points or less. <sighs> just can't close, bro. What were your thoughts on this game, man? Another game, different team. I mean, it's the same story, different team. You know yeah. what I mean? Uh, like you just said, the execution at the end is just not great. Uh, that key double team <laughs> by Reggie was yeah. just untimely. Why, I, Reggie, I don't, why? I don't, yeah, Marcus Smart had why? nine points in the quarter before that three and then ended with 12 in that quarter. 14. 14 yeah, because the free throw was later on. Yeah, he yeah 14 yeah, total yeah. for the quarter, but at that point it was 12. Right, right, on. right. Yes, yeah. yes. I don't understand. You know, we, RJ had the turnover, but then made up for making three. It's just yeah. like you, the biggest thing is just execution at the end of the game. And even before that, like, I, I know we want to talk about how it ended, but we just the, – the Celtics were not playing that great no, throughout the entire game not outside of Jalen Brown. Jalen Brown was on, and he even cooled down that second half, but we did not capitalize. And yeah. as we've seen the last few games, like, the fourth quarter has been not one of our best quarters in the entire game, so we at least got to make sure we give ourselves a cushion, and we did, but even when we had that five-point lead, I didn't feel safe with that. You know Me what neither. I mean? Um, and, and to be real, what more can we ask for as fans? Because we said we want Tibbs to, you know, we want him to change up the rotations. We want him to do this. Yo, Tibbs left the bench out there till about the five minute mark in that fourth quarter. And the he bench did. was doing what they had to do. But when it was time to make the adjustment, he made the adjustment. Tibbs did. We, I, I, I had no problems with rotations this time. The team, the players just, they just did not. Execute could, it, could not execute. The and there were opportunities there, bro, in that fourth quarter, 100%. man. There were shots to be made. Guys were just not making them. You know, Julius missed a few. Yeah. Bullock missed some. Burks missed a yeah. few. Uh, RJ with an untimely turnover. But I thought RJ had a strong game. Um, let me get to this, this last possession real quick. And, yeah. and the Bullock double I, it just wasn't needed, bro. First off, like, for me, the way I like the way they were doubling Tatum when he put the ball on the floor and had his back turned to, to that to that nearest yeah. defender. You know, They're that way you kind of, they were forcing turnovers that way. Yeah. But to double him when he has the whole vision of the court, to me, you, you're telegraphing your whole setup. Yeah. And Tatum wasn't doing anything to warrant a double team in that situation yeah. at all. Like, Tatum, like, yeah, he had, what, 23, 25, but... He wasn't killing us. Too. Right. He was not killing us. There was nothing in that situation that didn't tell me that Julius Randle could not have guarded him one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah. He was doing fine before that. So, I, yeah, like you said, it wasn't a situation where, you know, he's backing down or it's in the paint and he's posting up and someone comes up and sneaks up on him. No, he was blatantly at the top 
with Julius Randle and he decided to step up. I, I just didn't understand it. It, it. That's a one of the few blunders defensively for Reggie Bullock that he's had this season. That, that one made no sense to they, me. They telegraphed the jumper, the telegraphed the double and left Marcus right. Smart. He can hit those. He hits right. 38% on wide open threes. 38% from wide, he can knock those down. And he had a hot quarter. Mm-hmm. So that that's just that's just tough, man. Ill advised double, in my opinion. And gave a guy who can hit that wide open three a wide open three who was hot in the fourth quarter. Mm-hmm. Tough. Yeah, he, was, yeah he, he was the one that was killing us in that fourth quarter. So it just, tough, man. It was it, it blew my mind that he was the one left wide <laughs> wide yeah. open. I I just I just don't understand. And yeah. Um. Yeah, and I, I still see people in the chat talking about Alfred Payton. This and Alfred, no, it was Payton wasn't. Like, it, it was an Payton barely even got in the fourth, and and that's you. what we can talk yeah. about because we what you asked the coach for adjustments. What did he do? He leaned on Rose. He, he leaned did. on Rose he for everything. a good chunk of that yeah. fourth quarter, bro. He sure did. Yeah, but how he many sure ha- how many minutes did Derrick Rose play tonight? He'd say he's hit his same mark. Twenty six. Uh, uh, Twenty six tonight. Twenty six. And you saw that it was he. He was tired. <laughs> 26, he saw that he bro. was tired because when he gets to the rim and it looks like he has no lift on any of his layups and yeah. he just resulted to the catapult floater, that's it, man. That's all you're going to get out of Derrick Rose, there, There's a conscious effort. Dwayne Casey started it. You go look up some of the quotes right. from Dwayne Casey from last right. season or even this season with the Pistons. This season, too, yeah. When mm-hmm. Derrick Rose would, would reach 30 minutes, Dwayne Casey said, I got to bring him down. We got to mm-hmm. take care of his body. We got to make sure he's good. He can't last. And that's mm-hmm. why you saw Peyton come in with three minutes left. He had to. Yeah, too. Even Mike Green was saying that it was looking like he was going to close out with Derrick Rose. Like he couldn't it. close out with him. Looked like he it. wanted to. He probably he probably was planning on doing it, but he just couldn't. He it seemed like he ran out of gas. He man. was slow. He was out of gas. He just was out of gas. And it was just yeah. an unfortunate night from Alec Burks too. You know, we got we got what we wanted there. Like the lineup that we were supposed to close out with, we got what we wanted. Yeah, it was Derrick Rose, Alec Burks, R.J. Barrett, Julius Randle, and Taj Gibson. What else could you be asking for? And again, he left the he left the bench in for the majority of that fourth quarter. Everything that we've been, you know, comp- not complaining, but with, with, like our, our suggestions or whatever. Tibbs Tibbs listened to an extent, yeah, you know. But at the same time, also like we've been saying, Derrick Rose ain't got the, the he just does not have he the gas have for that. It, man. Unfortunately, Burks it. just didn't have it tonight, so yeah. you know we had to go back to the defense with Reggie Bullock. And it, it is what it is. Yeah. Like it just the execution just was was poor in today's game, man. That despite the five point lead in that fourth, yeah. Um, I thought the turning point of that game was eighty up eighty five, eighty two with five and a half left, mm-hmm. and D Rose gets blocked mm-hmm. by uh, Mr. Kardashian, who had an outstanding mm-hmm. game on on hustling. You know, out of hustle, thus got physical with, with us, Tristan Thompson. This was the big turning point of the game to me because this gave them the momentum. And we were playing catch up from this point on. It led to a Jalen Brown layup, and, and that was pretty much it. Like I said, we were battling from that. We were still in the game, but we were pretty much playing catch up on every possession. Yeah, we just looked. So that it, was tough, it, it man. Just looked, and I hate when it gets to that point where it looks like there's no you don't you don't feel confident that we're going to score on possession. Yeah. Like when it gets to that point of the game, it's just so frustrating to watch. And you could tell that they don't look like they're going to confidently score on yeah. that possession. Tied like, legs, just look man. Scattered. Yeah, and they just look tired. Yeah. Tired legs, tired legs. Um, and it's crazy because the Celtics mm-hmm. the one that had the game last night. Yeah, Isn't yeah. That crazy? they played last night. <laughs> they, played they played last, last night, night. Oh, which is why, bro, it is inexcusable to give up 16 offensive rebounds. We got crushed again on the boards tonight. Crushed oh, again, God, Mitch, yeah. Money, Mitch. We need you, bro, because these are these guys are gas, bro. We only we only grabbed 39 boards and gave up six. Teen offensive rebounds, a ton to Mr. Kardashian. Boston only averages 10 a game. We mm. only give up nine a game, and we gave them 16. Big, big, all game, bro. They were they were out hustling us, out muscling us on the boards between Williams, Tristan Thompson. They let Marcus Smart. Marcus Smart. They get they they let Marcus Smart get an off clutch offensive rebound in that fourth quarter on them. Yeah. And they and 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 Boston played last night. That's what I'm saying. They didn't look like it. Tough. Like they looked more hungry than we were from the from the tip, from yeah. the top. They just looked hungrier than we were, and we can't let that let that be. Like we said, I know people are already ready to jump off the the bandwagon, jump off the boat, talking about. Well, I guess it's time to go back to the tank. <laughs> nah, nah. We we've, we've come too far to now all of a sudden because we're facing some adversity, we want to give up. No, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. But at the same time, we gotta play. 
like how they played. They looked like they wanted it more. They made the adjustments. Yeah. Marcus Smart was not giving them anything in the first no. half. And it no. instantly was a factor in that yeah. second half. Which Tristan is him. That's Thompson, his game. That's what I'm saying. Tristan Thompson wasn't giving them much of anything in the first half. He had the highest plus minus of the entire court yeah. on the entire court. Like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. We just we just didn't want it, man. We just did not want it's, it. It's, uh, you know, a lot of the boards is, is you know, timing the ball and, and being having a knack for the ball. Right. But also is effort. And I just think we're getting worn down between, you know, Noel's not a big rebounder. Taj's not really, you know, he'll give you his five or six or so, but he, he's not just going to, you know, smash the yeah. boards like that. And I think Julius is, is coming down a bit. I think Julius is a bit gassed, you know, yeah, whether it's the quad I mean. injury or, 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 or not, I'm not sure. But I think Julius is, is just a bit a bit gassed. And listen, he, he's he he's playing hard. He's trying to push the pace, at when, especially when Peyton doesn't. Uh, but again, three turnovers on the night tonight. A couple of costly ones. Not really being under control. You know, I thought he he tried. He, he did his thing, obviously. How many times did he finished with tonight? He finished with uh, six dimes. 22.6 six. times, nine rebounds. But... You know, nine to twenty-three from the field. You know, Ju- yeah, that, Julius that I don't like that, man. Julius he had more man. missed shots or more shot attempts than points actually yeah. Yeah. for the night. And I'm not. I, I give up for paying the same criticism. I got. I got to be consistent with Julius. Randall. I'm not a big fan of that. You're right, and he he played hard, but a lot of those shots just the, the, some of them f- felt really lazy. Yeah, and like we yes. said, it just seems like he's gassed, and it, we were seeing this from like the second quarter. So it's just like I, I don't know. Like, is are all the minutes catching up to him in his legs? Like. Facts. You gotta start wondering that because it looked like it, but by the second quarter, he already looked gas. Yeah, it's like oh, uh, silver line and RJ twenty nine points after yes, ESPN disrespected yes, him. My man came out with a ten of fourteen game, six of six for downtown, three of four from the free throw line, five boards, two dimes, a costly turnover down the stretch, but he came back and knocked down that three in the in, in the end. To, 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 to really bring us back into the game. And Ty, he still tied the game. Mm. You know, he's going to learn in crunch time, man, but he still tied the game up for us, which is which is huge. Mm-hmm. What would you think about RJ tonight, bro? Loved RJ Barrett. Yeah, everything you said, 100%. I, I feel like, you know, I know it's the, the, probably the, the fan in me more than the, you know, trying to pay attention, but it's just like there was, there's some moments I feel like he was iced out a little bit. Uh, I feel like there was some attempts there towards the end that could have gone to him. Yeah. Um, but at the same time, for what he did with what he had, he was tremendous tonight. Like yeah. he he was hitting shots because at first it was all corner three. So I was just like, that's right. Uh, he's he's starting to pick that up, but then he's hitting them from the top. He hit the last one on the move. Like RJ Barrett was getting comfortable. You're seeing him hit that mid range with more comfort. But yeah. at the same time, when he's having a night like that, like I don't I don't want to put a damper on the parade. But when I only see him taking 14 of those shots and he's shooting that well, like uh, in a game like nicely, this, I would like bro. to see him take more. But. Shooting nicely. I believe the stat is in the last five games he's 16 to 22 from downtown. Might be even Look better that. than that, but that's what Look I had that. counted. Uh, Breen had said 14 and 20 at, I think that was in like the third quarter and I, and he definitely knocked down at least two more in the fourth. So this, he might be up to 16 to 22 from downtown. Got to figure out how to, how to get the ball in his hands down the stretch as well. Got to figure it um, out. Yeah. A little bit too much, uh, dribble, dribble action towards yeah. the end there. But it was, it was, again, it's, you know, it's bad, but at the same time, it just, everyone looked tired. Like, you yeah. know, it just didn't, they did not know. They look like they did not know what to do with the ball, which mm. is just that you can't have that. Let that be. So let give the ball Agreed. to RJ and see what happens. Agreed. Um, IQ, only 13 minutes t- tonight for IQ. I actually thought he gave us a, a good run in that second quarter with the second unit. Yeah. I thought he was solid. You know, he, he was he had Peyton Pritchard guard in him. I understand that. But I thought yeah, IQ. I was say. <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. Which is, which is a gimme. But even right. still... It, it's just the the big question mark when we're trying to close this thing out is, you if if Rose can't make it to that finish line, do you try to slot IQ back in there? You know he's not gonna be he he he's mm. kind of came back in terms of his facilitating, but you need so much shooting potential out there, bro. Yeah. If you're yeah. gonna be driving this thing with RJ or Julius anyway, do you try to slot quickly in there because Peyton? You know, I know Tibbs wants him out there for dribble tr- penetration and attacking the rim, but I don't know. But, you know, IQ only 13 minutes. I, I thought there was an opportunity for him down that stretch as well. 
Uh, yeah, me too. But at the same time, we, I mean, we know, we know Tibbs. We know that that he's gonna go with the vet before he that goes heavy, to Rook in that, that situation. That heavy tonight. Yeah, he 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 knew that he was gonna do that, especially in that situation of the game. I don't think you know as great as he you know he, he as IQ has been this season. As much as he might like IQ, you know, in a situation like that when you got to take out Derrick Rose, he's gonna go with his other favorite, and Alfred Payton first. Yeah, but I I completely agree. I think that especially we didn't have much else because our other guy that we want to hit shots and Alec Brooks wasn't hitting his shot. So right. I think, you know, why the hell not? Like, put him out there in that unit. Let's see what happens. But uh, also, I know at the back of my mind, I couldn't expect Tibdo to go yeah. over Yeah, 13 there. minutes for IQ. So that was yeah. tough, man. Two and eight in crunch time, bro. Two Crazy. and eight in crunch that? time. Crazy. It just, you know, 25 and 27 on the campaign. Mm. It's, it just speaks to a lot of things. And the need for a true floor general. The need for a yeah. star, somebody to go to in the crunch time. Closer. Back. Closer, and and still growing pains. Even for RJ, I think it's still growing pains. You know, with with the costly turnover there down the stretch, he, but he still backs it up with a big three Great recovery to tie the, yeah. to tie the game. You know, mm-hmm. mentally he was still sharp, mm-hmm. but it, that was just a big turnover, mm-hmm. costly turnover. So, but like, and then also too, one of our biggest things that we have that you know we're missing, Mitch Robinson, like Mitch at the top, Mitch. still missing them big boards. Only thirty nine boards tonight, bro. 39 yeah. boards. And Boston, conversely, 53. God. I'm telling you, Mr. Kardashian was killing us, bro. Plus 24 in the night. I'm Gr- telling Patricia you, highest of the night. Yeah. Jalen Brown out of Monster game, too. No lie, though. 32 sure and 10. Sure My did. man, he's still hitting threes right now. The, the lights is out at the Boston Garden. He's still hitting threes. <laughs> first first half, he was killing us from downtown, bro. Yeah. And, and his three-point shooting has definitely improved year over year. Give credit to him. His game in general. Yeah, yeah, His, yeah, his yeah. whole game. His game, his game is so rounded out well. Yeah. Um, another area I thought we, we left opportunities was uh, on the free throw line. You know, we averaged yeah. 21 on the year, on the on the on per game, 21 per game. Only got there 16 times. Mm-hmm. Referees are a little bit all over the place, but it is what it is. But I just think, you know, again, that it just spoke to the physicality of the Celtics defense tonight and on the boards. And as a result, we just we I didn't think we got to the line. I didn't think we were aggressive enough uh, mm-hmm. again to the free throw line. So, yeah, tough. Uh, yeah, there was there was some calls there that are a bit iffy towards the end there. But I'm I'm not gonna join the camp of this is the referee's no, fault. It, no, you know, no, there was no. a few of them, but it wasn't. Yeah. The, the, to me, it didn't tip the glass in one way or the yeah, other. Yeah, me so. neither. But uh, yeah, no, hundred percent. We got to be way more uh, aggressive in getting to the line. Julius Randle only took two. Only you took know, that's, two. That's not normal. That's not normal. And that's what I'm saying. Is he gas? Is it the injury? Yeah. What's the situation there? Yeah. But another tough one against a team that we're battling with. So now I guess it rolls reverse. We'll, we'll check on the standings later, but we were both tied. Yeah. We had the edge because we beat them in, in the uh, the first game. So we yeah. were seventh. They were eighth. We now were tied 1-1 on the season series, and we play them last game of the season at MSG. So that could be a pivotal game depending on where these two teams stand. In just 20 Indeed. games or so when they meet again at MSG. Let's get to the phone. Start with DJ from Shaolin. DJ, how you doing, bro? Yo, yo, yo. I know you just said it, but I got to represent for you and the guys. CK, what up? Hit that thumbs up button. For Hit that squad. like button. Let's go. Yeah, man. You know, I had this game scheduled on a calendar. I've been talking about it for the past two weeks with y'all every time I called. Mm-hmm. And I gotta be honest, man. I hate, I hate, I hate losing to Boston. I hate, I hate it more Boston. than Brooklyn. I hate, hate losing to Boston. Bro. I hate lo- I hate losing to Boston, man. I feel like they are our rivals. Yeah. And the way, like, this is this, like it, just to talk about the game because I see a lot of weird stuff in the in the chat. People talk about <laughs> trading Rand, all this nonsense. <laughs> Let's keep it in the right now. Yeah. Right now, right now, we fight for our playoff lives. If you think R.J. Barrett ain't a man, man, listen. Every time he gets this slander. Every time ESPN or The Jump or any of these people talk bad or, or don't list him in a category, he goes out and balls. And listen, I understand he made a crucial mistake in the fourth, but I got to give this man a pass because this is a fun fact. This man does not get assists by Alfred Payton, and I'm not blaming Payton. You know, no. I hate him, but I'm not blaming him. For that. Yeah. He did not get not one assist from his point guard. And the only assist that he got from his point guard besides Randall was D-Rose in a corner three. That's right. So this man is working for his point Without a jump shot. He's giving you 32 efficiently. So we got to stop with this RJ slam. Big time. I don't get why everybody's killing him whenever he has a bad game and he comes back with a good one. But this, um, I got to be honest with you, I'm looking at Tibbs and I'm like, 
I get it. He's doing what he can with what he has. But, like, you you nailed it, CP. I wish that last three minutes he would go with IQ because Brad Stevens showed his hand. He played zone, and, yeah, we shot him out of that zone, and yeah. he went back to man. Yeah. yeah. But mm-hmm. I feel like they just need a floor spacer, and I get it. Marcus Smart was trying to bully him. But that, yeah, that, that that's line, the only you know, issue. Yeah. That's the only issue with IQ is that he would have had to have guard, guarded Marcus Smart, and they would have tried to expose him on the defensive right. end yeah. and offensively as well. That would have been right. a tough matchup for him. And they would have switched. Yeah, it would have been. Right, but the only, thing I, that, the only way I see that is if he gets a post-up. And now Marcus Smart, leave him wide open. He's going to drill that. Like, I've seen that too many times. 38%. If you let him be in a post, yeah, man. But if you let him be in a post, you could trap Marcus quicker and just leave IQ to, you know, just help defense on a post. Yeah. I, I Like, I get why they was trapped to Tatum. He, one-on-one, he's a killer. I'm a Duke fan, so I get it. I've seen him. But I didn't like that double at the end. Uh, CK neither, had it right, man. If you're going to double Tatum, if you're going to double Tatum, man, you got to wait until he turns his you back. You got to wait, bro. Yeah. You, double him, yeah. you double him at the top of the key. I, that, that bothered me. Uh, Mitchell, we miss you, bro. The, the, the rebounds is the only difference in the game. If you look at the stat line, the yeah. rebounds is the only difference in the game. We miss you. And I, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. This is a this was a big game, big loss, tough loss. But yeah. The only thing I could say is that Boston is on our level. Like they're not higher. I know they didn't have Kemba, but Kemba's playing awful this year. Yeah. I know. I'm gonna make it quick, but they're not. They're not better than us. So we. This is it. This is gonna be the seven and eight. I feel. In my heart of hearts, this is seven and eight. Um, y'all just keep doing what y'all doing, man. I, I don't got nothing bad to say about anything. This was a tough game. I, I just felt like it was a swing. And that's oh, one more thing, and I'm gonna go. Mm-hmm. That was a goal ten by the Kardashians. It looked that's close. It looked close. <laughs> every time. Yeah, it, lo- it looked close, it man. Close. That's a goal. Ten. Yeah, but, uh, I'm gonna it, let y'all go. Keep, keep doing what y'all doing. Appreciate it, bro. Man. Appreciate it. Yeah, that one did look close. It was man. Definitely close. That one looked close. close. Mr. Kardashian was eating our food tonight, man. That's yeah. another one I hate. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know? Especially, with, yeah. And just the timing of it is what pisses me off. Because, yeah. like I said, he was a non-factor in the beginning, and we Facts. just let him. Yeah. 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 There are two teams that evenly match, man. Celtics really have no yeah. bench, zero bench. And I, I think Kemba's, Kemba's starting to come back a little bit. I think he, he's on his way out. Not necessarily out, out, but, you know, not prime Kemba. No, I know what you I, mean, I think, yeah. Yeah, I think he's, you know, he's got a lot of wear and tear on him. So I think Kemba, unfortunately, is starting to come down a little bit. But, um, yeah, two, two evenly matched teams uh, went to the wire. It was an ugly, ugly game, brutal game to watch to get through in the first half. Uh, again, we just could not close, unfortunately. 